Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and go over the Path of Exile Synthesis, which is going to be the next league that's coming up. And 16 days, 5 hours, 18 minutes, and 43 seconds, but nobody is counting. Uh, I've just gave, I've basically taken a brief look at uh, what is going to be on here. I haven't seen the trailer yet. <clears throat> but it seems like I'm really gonna like this patch personally, which is really good because I haven't really been playing PoE as much as you know the past five years. Um, mainly because this seems to be more of like a caster-oriented patch, so a well, league, um, and also a heavy crafting league, but more so like, like how do I explain? Like an easier way of crafting that's a lot less punishing. I'll also be playing a hardcore trade league again. Uh, I'm dropping the solo self found for this league. Although I feel like this league would be pretty good for solo self found, but I feel like every league would be good for solo self found. So anyway, let's first start and go ahead and watch the trailer. To be forgotten. A fate worse than death. It is as though my very thoughts are breaking. Rectoring into tiny splinters. There are secrets buried in my memories, Exile. Important secrets. Save these memories. Preserve them. But move swiftly, lest you be forgotten. Ideas may be manifested into reality. Build paths to secrets long forgotten. Treasures you could only dream of, synthesized into your very hands. A chance to create something truly unforgettable. I mean, so far it looks pretty cool. I think that the uh, the the blue stuff that creeps up on you reminds me a lot of the Harbinger rune In word things. In Path of Exile Synthesis, you will meet Cavus and help him recover his lost memories. Enter Cavus's memories and stabilize them by fighting your way to memory stabilizers before they decay. Connect these memories together in the Memory Nexus to reach distant memories containing dangerous bosses and valuable rewards. Memories decay after a few runs, so plan your path carefully. Decaying memories yield fractured items with broken mods that are locked in place. When he says broken mods, by the way, he means because they're really overpowered. Consume these fractured items to synthesize new base types with custom implicit mods based on the fractured items you used. Synthesis also contains a complete balance overhaul of all spells in Path of Exile, six new Chaos and Holy spells, and significant incentives for handcasting, including several new support gems. That right there, that's a new support gem. For hand casting, including that's like, you know what that is? They better rename that to like, Greater Spell Echo. Several new support gems.
check out pathofexile.com slash synthesis to learn more. Okay, looks pretty cool. Lots of lots of flashy stuff in this league. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and read some. Uh, I don't care about this. All right. Recover the lost memories. To help Kavas remember his past, you will find fragments of his decaying memories throughout Rayclast. Fight your way through the monsters that inhabit his memories in order to activate stabilizers before the memories collapse around you. So it seems... It seems people are telling me it looks a lot like Delve. I think it's more like Incursion. Not this part, but like the part where you like do the building block stuff. It's kind of it reminds me of more of Incursion. This is cool though. I like this art style. Kind of almost gives me like a Stranger Things vibe. <laughs> Here, this part. I think? Yeah, this part. This part here reminds me of Incursion. Because it's, it's like you create, you create like a, I don't fully understand it, but you like create a path somewhere. And then you can run that path a set amount of times. And then I don't know if your whole area expires or only one area expires. I guess we'll see when we get in there. Like this, here we go. So kind of like that. I don't fully understand it, but I sort of get it. It's kind of like building a temple, right? If you build the temple the inefficient way, you get nothing out of it. I'm sure if you built this the wrong way and, you know. In the video, just one block expired. So, like, if you if you expire a block here, then you can only do this until these run out. So, I mean, I just got to play it to really see. Okay, so we are going to go check out, let's see here. Distant memories. There's a Ziggy video with a bit more explanation. No, I'll just wait. It's more fun to, to do it blind and fresh, in my opinion, but thank you. This looks like... <clears throat> wait. What is the... What is the support gem P? Is that Pierce? His essence drain is shooting like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Like, what? It's... Hmm. Does he have a sire? Of... Okay, he has a sire of shards. He has a sire of shards. How many? How many projectiles? How many projectiles does does Nova add? It doesn't add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? That's not a dead eye. That's a witch. I'm pretty sure Sire of Shards does not add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 projectiles. So I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume maybe Essence Strain gets built-in projectiles now. Uh, this looks like a boss for an EQ Jug. And... This is like the upgraded version of the dudes you can't animate or you can't summon. You know what I'm talking about? The Shaper mobs? GMP plus Sire. It gives Jim. Oh... I don't know, maybe. Maybe I'm just rusty. <clears throat> because it doesn't say GMP on the skill. Okay, fractured items. So, fractured items, decaying memories, which is the stuff we just saw, yield fractured items, which broken mods that are locked in place. While these are generally not useful as is, you'll find occasional fractured items that have excellent locked mods. I like how it says here, You'll find occasional fractured items that have, oh wait, that are <laughs> generally useful as is, or not generally useful. There's basically a better version of like every rare you'd pick up in the entire game. So these essentially have a locked in stat, and you can infinitely craft as much as you want, similar to an essence, except you don't have to pay for the essence because you just find something that's a decent base with a decent stat, and then you minus one off of your rolls. And instead of rolling for six T1 stats or T2 stats, you're rolling for five, which is really good, like, especially, like, getting into maps, getting into higher tier maps. SSF, you know. Uh, the Synthesizer. In the memory nexus lies the Synthesizer, a powerful device that lets you destroy fractured items to create base types with custom implicit mobs. These implicit mods are somewhat controlled by careful choice. 
Okay, curse enemies with level 5 flammability on hit. That's really good. Especially because you could just regal and multi-mod. Um, max mana, max fire res. Increased evasion, life fire, movement speed. Add 1 to 120 lightning damage. If you haven't killed recently, permanent onslaught. Okay, I didn't see the permanent onslaught. Wow, that's like really... That's like, in my opinion, that's the most broken thing of here. That's like, what, 50% movement speed on these boots? This is like for sure what I'm aiming towards. Like on every character. I even had a dream. I was like, this time when I go back to Path of Exile, every character needs to have movement speed all the time. Every single build. Here we go. Boots, 50% movement speed. Oh, see, look. Essence Drain now has one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Spellcasting rebalance. Synthesize. Synthesis also contains a complete balance overhaul of all spells in Path of Exile. Six new chaos and holy spells and significant incentives for hand casting. But I guess they don't like, the New Zealanders don't like when we say self cast, they call it hand cast. The damage of almost every spell in the game has been adjusted, providing many more powerful options for spell casters. See, I'm concerned because I personally feel like even though that, those wings look cool, even though the damage of some skills suck, it's more so like the the mechanics of the skill. If the mechanics of the skill can't scale well, that's kind of why they also sort of suck. But we'll see. New support gem Unleash. The Unleash support builds up power over time to have spell cast fire multiple times. This is a big one. This looks like a clear speed oriented gem to fix mechanical failures and skills. <laughs> New support gem Spell Folk. Wait, what? The spell focus support shifts from an area to increase a powerful damage multiplier as you repeatedly cast supported spells. Wait, so it goes from bigger to smaller or it just moves? I don't get it. The unleashed support gem builds a power over time to have spell cast fire multiple times. Yeah, NKOE to Conk. I wonder if they're removing NKOE and Conk. This is pretty cool though. These are like some two big support gems. Okay. This is... Oh, that's the skill rework. Let's see. One, two, and three. New caster archetypes! Yeah, I saw the fireballs that were unleashed. There was four sets of them. The new holy spellcaster archetype. Oh my god, give me, dude. I love, I love like holy and neutral. I don't know why. Or sorry, holy and unholy. The new holy spellcaster archetype features Path of Exile's first holy spells. Isn't smite? Oh, smite's an attack. Actually, isn't that little relic technically a holy spell? The little one that follows and pulses? Including divine ire, purifying flame, and a wave of conviction. The Chaos Spellcaster archetype not only provides an easier introduction to Chaos Spells with Soul Ren, but adds many new tools to Path of Exile's existing arsenal of Chaos Spells. Probably, oh, it's an attack too, probably gonna play a Holy character as my first character, not gonna lie. Purifying Flame, unleash a sudden blast that consecrates the ground and sends out a purifying shockwave. It's so holy, dude, that it creates corpses. Wave of Conviction. A massive wave of elemental force spreads over a large area, purging enemy resistance. Divine Ire. Channel to... I don't like it. No channel, dude. Channel to draw in energy from enemies around you, dealing lightning and physical damage. When you stop the channel, the energy is released in a single devastating beam to everything in front of you. Yeah, it's like Kamehameha, dude. Actually, it's more like Spirit Bomb, because you gotta sit there and chat. Actually, Kamehameha, you have to channel, too. But Spirit Bomb, like, takes the spirit from, you know, everything around you. The Divine Iris channel to draw in energy from enemies around you, dealing lightning and physical... I just realized it's a meta skill, dude. No physical. Get out of here with your physical shenanigans, bro. All 
All right. Bane. Bane applies all linked curses and a damage over time effect to enemies in an area with benefits for each curse applied. So this is basically just saying, hey, if you're an occultist, play Bane. This is pretty much like... This is like the curse build. Bane applies all linked curses and a damage over time effect to enemies in an area with benefits for each curse applied. Unleash a projectile that weaves towards enemies and applies a deadly but short-lived damage over time around the projectile. With additional projectiles and increased duration, the skill can wipe out large groups of enemies. This is a big one. Homing skills, dude. Malevolence and Zealotry. This, I, I saw a little sneak peek of this and this is what I'm very excited for. These two new auras provide a new reservation options for a wide variety of spellcasters. Yes, dude, I love auras. I don't know why. Auras make me so happy. Powerful new items. Enemies you kill are shocked. Shocks you inflict spread to enemy other enemies within a radius of 15. Okay, so now you can use Storm's Gift with Impulsa, and then you don't need to use a Vinktar, right? What kind of spellcasters? A wide variety, dude. Uh, what is this? Nebulous. Oh, so it's like the opposite of Nebulock. 40% alley, 17% increased cast speed, 18% increased cold damage per 1% cold res above 75, and increased lightning per 1% lightning res above 75. Isn't there a chess piece that scales with cold res above 75? Bottled Faith. Creates consecrated ground on use. 20 of 60 is a perfect form. 36% increased duration. Consecrated ground created by the flask has triple radius. 2% to critical strike chance against enemies on consecrated ground during effect. Enemies on consecrated ground you create during effect take increase. This is an insane flask, dude. Melee flask. Dude, your consecrated ground is going to be like one third to two thirds of the screen. I think even a caster could use this, dude. The King's Path. I forgot what the King's Path is, but I'm pretty sure it's rare. Item 2 Implicit Corrupted, Arrogance of the Vol, and 3 times Orb of Vanel. And much, much, much more. Oh, I added a much in there. King's path is Combs Way. So there's two ways to get a Combs Way. Or wait, or this gives you... Wait, what? Does this give you one card for Combs Way? Oh, it gives you the Prophecy. It straight up gives you the Prophecy. It's a Divination card that gives you the Prophecy. Okay, I see. You know, I find a Combs Way or a King's Path every single league. I find one. Synthesis also includes many other improvements. The content from December's Betrayal expansion has been integrated into the core game. Mm. The layout of the Atlas of Worlds has been shifted once again, and a lot of Path of Exile's music has been overhauled. Check out the full patch notes in early March for more information. Very nice. So, I mean, so far... So far, I'll tell you what I like. Um, I really like... Th this system seems cool so far. I hope it doesn't become too tedious. It seems nice. I like... One thing that's cool about this is unlike... Unlike the previous league we just did, what was it? Betrayal? Betrayal, every time you find an unveiled mod, you take it to John, you unveil it. Here, you sacrifice three base types to create one implicit. Which I think is also pretty cool. Um, let's see. I really like this fractured crafting because it allows you to commit to crafting a piece of gear. 
The synthesizer looks pretty cool, like I was saying. The uh, skill rate balance, you know, I'm a spellcaster dude, so I'm really hoping to see some cool stuff here. I also really like these two because Echo locks you in place, but it's really nice to use. But having a skill that lowers your skill damage but lets you hit multiple times to cover a wider area seems like a great option for spellcasters. And then the new caster archetypes look pretty sick. I don't think... I'm kind of sick of playing curses, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm gonna play Jug this entire league. But I'm definitely looking into these holy skills, the auras, and then probably probably the homing skill if I try it. And then these look okay. These look like broken. Overall, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty excited. I'd like to see the patch notes so I can like sit there and, and like compare skill to skill because uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to start with. I was honestly thinking like maybe some type of maybe some type of holy juggernaut boys a holy juggernaut iron will spell caster 17k hp zug zug through the new caster archetypes i'm pretty excited about that you know so anyway uh i'm gonna pretty much catch you guys all later if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments below i will be definitely streaming Path of Exile Synthesis in 16 days, 4 hours, 57 minutes, and 21 seconds. Uh, so I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. I'm going to go play some more Slay the Spire. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.